AR headquarters update because there's some things that have changed. First of all, we got some storm damage. We had 114 mile an hour winds while we were uh, on vacation and it definitely, definitely did some damage. I would say they have been getting a lot done. What's up, boy? Hey, hey. How, oh, he's missed me. Guys, I got to show you this. How about a 1970 Charger RT? This thing is beautiful. 60 some thousand original miles on this. Just suffice it to say the Corvette is no more and we have a Jeep Mopar 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 all right this is money that could have been in GM's pocket get in my belly I don't even think I want to talk about it right now I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna go through with it what I'm talking wheels tires lift kit bumper winch light bomb I'm, I'm, I'm talking anyway yeah forget about that uh, yeah so we got to get this car as well down to uh, AR headquarters then we've got to pick up another car the Chevy Sonic the 2015 biohazard Sonic uh, from AR headquarters so we're basically swapping out cars we're dropping this one off at AR headquarters picking up the Sonic we're taking the Sonic to the auto spa picking up the Hellcat we got to go pick up the Ram 2500 at Firestone I just had a new set of all-terrain tires installed and an alignment done on it so guys there's no time to waste we got plenty to do let's get started I don't know if you remember or not but we replaced the mass airflow sensor in this in a recent video. I tried replacing the window regulator and unfortunately they sent me the wrong one. So I had to, uh, number one, I cleaned all of the window tent off of this window. This window looks fabulous. Now we got all of the, the tape residue crap off. I had to temporarily put this together, rig up this box to hold the window up. But if you remember right, when we first bought this car for 300 bucks from Copart, $300, okay? Uh, if you remember correctly, it died and fought me the whole way home. We ran a diagnostic on it and it had a bad mass airflow sensor. So we replaced the mass airflow sensor. So I thought, what is the best thing we could do with this car right now? We don't know anything about it other than it didn't enjoy the drive home. It died regularly. Let's take it on a one hour drive to AAR headquarters and hope that we make it because nobody's going to be following us. There's no backup plan. Let's jump in this thing and see if it'll make it all the way down to AR headquarters. All right, step one, we made it to Firestone in the little car. It hasn't died yet, so that's good news. Before we get out of here, I wanted to show you guys the new tires and see what you think. I think it gives the truck an aggressive look, a very aggressive stance. I understand a lot of you are gonna say it's pointless because this is a two wheel drive truck, but I say agree to disagree. I think these tires right here will really, really make a difference. I think I'm gonna get a lot more bite out of my back wheels than I was previously getting. As you can see, we only got 11,000 miles on these tires. These are still uh, practically new. So I decided to keep them, we'll probably put them up for sale, try to get four to $600 out of them. Who knows? It's better than uh, it's better than trashing them though. So tell me what you think. There's the Ram. This is step one is coming over here to get this fresh alignment, a fresh set of shoes, the General Grabber AT. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, you should have got the AT2s yeah, I know, but this is what we got. We got the AT, I believe that's an X. Yeah, ATX. So fresh alignment, new tires. Let me go in here and pay for this. Let the ladies take the truck home and we are gonna continue on our way down to AR headquarters an hour away in the $300 Nissan. Well, boys and girls, here we go. We've never had it on the highway before. <laughs> uh, what do you think, dude? Yeah, I'm a little I'm a little nervous myself. Here we go. Oh boy, yeah. There's 50. 55. Come on, old girl, you can get 60. There we go. <laughs> a little 1.6 liter. Hey, she's doing alright, man. Not too shabby. Not too what do you think? She's riding alright, huh? Yep. And we're doing 70 now. Yeah, there we go. Y'all see it, 70 miles an hour. Let's see, does the cruise control work? Where is the cruise control set? 
I don't think it works. No. The buttons are uh buttons are kind of sticky. All right, no cruise control. That's all right. Hey, she's cruising at 70 miles an hour down the interstate and aside from a rattling door because I don't have anything properly installed here, it's actually doing very well. No warning lights, smooth, no major vibrations. Look, this car is so fast, we have to slow down for the people in front of us. All right, guys, I think I think we're gonna make it. What do you think? Do you think we're gonna make it all the way out to AR headquarters? Maybe, he's not, he's, <laughs> he's not sold yet, guys. He's like, eh, I don't know. He's down for the ride though, man. He said he's always ready to go see if a car is gonna make it or not. Hey, we got nobody following us either, do we? Nope. No, no, we're on our own, man. Oh, there mind. That was me. That was me. That was me. <laughs> My foot came off the accelerator pedal. It scared me, too. I was like, oh, shoot. All right, guys. Let's see if we can make it the rest of the way down to AR headquarters. And we'll get a shop update while we're out there because they are back to building the shop again. So uh, we'll throw on a little shop update while we're at it. Let's do it. Well, guys, we're over halfway there. The hardest part of the trip for the car is over because it was all on the interstate. 70 miles an hour. We made it. We are we are over halfway there with no issues. We still have no warning lights. The temperature's good. It's hardly used any gas at all. The little thing just crank it right along. Air conditioning is so cold that even on a hot day like this, I've only got the AC set on number two. And it keeps this car nice and cold, don't it? Yep. AC works great, huh? Have we had any problems at all? Nope. No? What do you think? You didn't think it was going to make it, did you? Nope. Be honest, you did not think it was going to make it. No. <laughs> He's got no faith. I do. I love these old clunkers, man. I really do, truthfully. I don't, I don't know what it is about them. There's got to be more people out there than just me that enjoy it. I know there's Tyler, but he's on a... That's a whole nother level of hoopty. When you're talking about my hoopty Lamborghini and my hoopty Ferrari, uh, Rolls Royce, I love Hoobie's Garage, man. I do. I, I love watching his videos because I get what he's doing. I get how he's doing it. The YouTube revenue more than makes up for what he's losing on these car deals but like don't get me wrong maybe someday i can have a hoopty fleet of ferraris lamborghinis and rolls royces but for now i got a hoopty fleet of what, what do we got we got a chevy sonic yeah uh nissan 200 sx a 530,000 mile uh nice no what is it toyota sienna yeah. we got a 1959 dodge coronet what else we got in the hoopty fleet? Um. I can't. We got oh the the uh, the '96 Chevy 2500, the '96 Ford Taurus station wagon that's in paint right now, uh, the 2006 Cobalt S. Oh no no we we sent the Cobalt down the weird beard. Okay, so you get the point. My hoopty fleet is. It, this is a legitimate hoopty fleet. Like, no BS, for real. Nobody can top me. I own a bunch of real life hoopties. All right, let's see if this hoopy, hoopty, hoopy, let's see if this hoopty can make it the rest of the way to AR headquarters so we can get a shop update, grab the Chevy Sonic, and take it for its first drive. Um, well, not first drive, but it will be the first time we've taken it on the highway and driven it a long distance. We're talking about driving that car. Uh, that's all the way up in Oklahoma City. We're talking probably 60 miles in the Chevy Sonic with the patch on the oil pan. This should be fun. Let's do it. Well, guys, we're part way there. We got a lot more to do today, but as you can see, she's running. No check engine lights, no warning lights at all. We are here to pick up the Chevy Sonic and take it to the city. But first, why don't we do a quick uh ar headquarters update because there's some things that have changed first of all we got some storm damage we had 114 mile an hour winds while we were uh on vacation and it definitely definitely did some damage you can see i've been gone for two weeks all of my grass and stuff i used to have a wood pile under here it's now completely there's the wood pile somewhere down in there <laughs> i'm gonna my chairs got blown all the way over here we got a tree limb down over here try to make this quick for you guys mainly because i got to get to the auto spa and i've got about an hour and a half to do it and it's an hour drive so watch for oh wow boy this grew up real big didn't it look at this my goodness yeah so there's my kindling all under here 
Uh, so I've, <laughs> I'm going to have to come out here with the weedy to really knock this down and then mow it. Wow, AR shop is looking good. The trampoline survived. That's good news, right? Yep. Yeah, at least you still got a trampoline. Uh, oh, boy. Boy, that's a big one. What kind of tree is this, guys? Man, this is beautiful. The wood on this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. That's a shame. Where did it break off from? I hope that doesn't kill the tree. It's this tree right here. I don't even see where it, uh, I don't even see where the damn thing came off of. Huh. Oh, wow. Yeah, very top. I know you guys can't see it, but right where my finger is pointing, this, this boy had a long way to fall. Wow. Okay, hey, boy, that wood pile that was over here is down to almost nothing, isn't it, Ace? Yeah. Look at this. I would say they have been getting a lot done. You guys asked for shop updates, so I'm trying to throw all this in here for you guys. I want to make sure, you know, in this vlog, we cover everything. There, oh, there's Pete Jr. Look, we even got Pete Jr. coming up in here. What's up, Jr.? What's up, boy? Hey, hey. Oh, he's missed me. He's missed me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, whoa. Hey, now. Hey, now. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, oh. Yes, tell him hi. Tell him hi, Pete. <laughs> Little Junior. Little Junior. Oh, he's feisty. He's feisty. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, junkyard dog, huh? Junkyard dog. Oh, vicious. Vicious. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> you can see where the trusses have been sitting this whole time. Are you sick? You all right? He sounds like he's about to throw up, don't he? Yeah, I think he's getting... Yeah, he's about to puke. Okay. So, wow. Guys, I know that there's a... I, I, on Instagram, I posted pictures of this stuff. And a lot of people have been like, that don't look like a $40,000 shop. Well, uh, number one, it's not done. <laughs> so, judging what kind of insulation and judging my wiring and the lights that I chose and my doors and everything, you know, before you've ever even seen it like to me that's just that's stupid that's so any anybody that's like that you know just get on out of here i don't need i don't need the negativity like this shop when it's all said and done should have cost me right around thirty-eight thousand dollars. and it's important to also remember guys i didn't take a loan out for this i didn't borrow any money for this i didn't take a mortgage out on my house this is owned guys this is paid for cash money and i say cash i mean literally paid for with cash all right there's some of the metal that's going to be going on look at this i mean this is huge look asa stand on that side right there i'm gonna walk all the way over there hey pete what do you think man what do you think huh you gonna come hang out in here with us look there's ace over there i'm at one corner of the shop and he's all the way at the other Here's one of these uh, genie sky sky lifts or sky jackers or whatever so you can get an idea man gonna have a big bay door right here big bay door right here then we're gonna have a side door right here and as you can see we've got a little concrete pad poured you know for you to step out of we're gonna have a privacy fence hopefully at some point covering most of the garage the face of the garage will be left open to the street but the back end here the whole backyard is supposed to be filled in uh boy uh ong came out and they just destroyed my uh they really destroyed my yard, man, tearing up all these sewer lines. They left duct tape or something over a clean out. Like, I, I don't understand it. Okay. Anyway, well, I could tell they've been working. I think they've got a couple updates for us. And where did all this come from? Look at all these bricks. You could build a house with that. All right. So I can see we've got a new back door installed. Yeah. Okay. We got a new back door. It looks like a piece of siding or something came off up here somebody's gonna have a fire later all right this is the car we're gonna be taking back with us today i am nervous as hell about this but it's got to be done let's go inside there's the rest of the hoopty fleet right there we'll go in the house and let's uh let's see what's got what's gotten done in there 
Well, hell guys, I didn't even have to go far to see this. I literally just walk up to the front door and remember this was all broken dirt and mud and pieces of wood everywhere. I, he didn't even tell me he was going to do this for me, man. He poured a slab here for the porch. So now instead of all the torn up junk and crap that was over here, we actually have an extension to our original porch. I like that. All right, so we had a little bit of work done in here. The, uh, the tub. Look at that. We got tile. That looks nice, right? Yeah, it looks real good. They're also working on the hot water tank. I'll take you over there and show you that real quick. In here, we got the old hot water tank. This is going to be coming out. This, this closet is just a total, total wreck. You can see the floor here is sinking in. So this is all, this is all going to be redone and cleaned up. Can't have, can't have plants growing in your hot water closet, right? So they went out and they picked up a, a new Ream Performance Series. Nice looking right here. It looks real nice. And I think they got some materials there. You actually got your pan that you're supposed to have. Got your flex pipe and everything there. Uh, looks like PEX crimps and everything. She's coming together, man. This room is a this room's a disaster right now, guys. It's probably the worst room of the house. This back door obviously just got installed, but back door works great now, man. It seals nice and tight, really nice. I got my tools and stuff everywhere in here. I just need to come in here and get this all uh, get this all cleaned up. She's coming together, guys. And I guess before we go, guys, this is like this is the biggest thing for me. This is <laughs> AT and T business class commercial dedicated fiber optic internet, guys. It's a mouthful, but what this means is we have we are the only place, not just in this town, but in many of the surrounding towns, the only place that has a dedicated fiber optic line. This means nobody has access to our line. Nobody will be using it. We're not going to be throttled. This is commercial grade equipment right here, and it sucks that it's in my living room. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize it's going to take up so much space. So what I'm probably going to end up having to do is take this entertainment center. And I'll probably move it diagonally here so that it, you know, covers most of that up and you'll never see it. But that should be some extremely fast internet being that it's a dedicated line. Well, little junior, what you say, man? What you say, huh? Yeah, we got to go, buddy. I'm sorry, but I am running very, very late as it is. I am, but I'll come back and see you, I promise. I'll come back and see you. Yes, I will. You stay out of trouble. Don't don't get run over now. Um, Ace, can you grab the dealer plate off of the yeah. green car so we can put it on this one? Yeah. Let's see if uh let's see if this thing fires up on its own. There we go. Didn't even need a jump start. How about that? She's ready to go, man. Alright, now for the real test, driving this thing. 60 miles on the highway and we don't know anything about this car should be fun let's do it all right so we have a full tank of gas cruise control is set at 65 air conditioning is on this is a decent car what do you what do you think of this one i like it you like it i like it too this it's a pretty good car it actually rides really well especially okay hold on hold on when you just got through driving in a 1995 nissan 200 sx uh, this car drives great. So maybe I'm a little impartial because of my my recent experience in the Nissan. No, you're on Nissan runs and drives. All right. Yeah, it runs and drives all right. But it, it's, you know, this car is so much more comfortable. It doesn't bounce around. There's no rattling noises or anything. She's cruising, man. Cruise control is set. 94,000 miles, 94,081 miles on the odometer. And uh, we got a nice little sound system to listen to. We're going to continue on our way, guys. Hey, do you think we're going to make it all the way to Oklahoma City in this? I think. You think so? Yes. I think we will. What do you guys think? Comment below and tell me if you think we're going to make it to Oklahoma City. Let's continue on our way, and uh, we'll find out together. Well, ladies and gentlemen, she made it, and she got 42 miles a gallon over the course of 54.4. Or no, that's miles per hour uh where's the trip there we go 72 miles i don't know how well you could see that but 72 miles 42 miles a gallon guys she made it she made it and we are now at the auto spot llc which means you guys are going to get to see the hell kitty well i miss this car seems like it's been seems like it's been weeks oh wait it has been weeks since we've seen this car 
Yes, she now has C Quartz, uh, C Quartz Professional ceramic coating. We've got paint protective film across the front here. We've got paint protective film over here. And I think the best part of it, guys, is, is if you remember, we had caught a couple dings in this bad boy. Uh, one was from TK. His door dinged into it somewhere, somewhere back here. Truthfully, I can't even see it now. I think it was somewhere right over, somewhere right over here. But uh, look at that body line, crispy. No ding at all. And the worst one was David Stanley actually dinged the door when I took it in for a, I think it was a flat repair and to reprogram the compute, the, uh, the radio, the screen for the radio or something. When I got it back, it had a giant ding like right here and it had warped the metal up and warped the metal down. It was gnarly. And uh, you can see this, look at this body line. It's a little cloudy today, but look how sharp that body line is. Look at that. No more dings, guys. No more dings. Boy, the hell. <laughs> she looks sharp. She looks so sharp. They also did the wheels, too. So the wheels should be good to go as well. Look at this, man. Tell me that is not the epitome of sexy right there, guys. Oh, boy, I've missed this car. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look. The window tent. Uh-oh. That's a big bubble. That's a big bubble in the window tent right there. Gonna have to definitely check that out. Oh man, she does look good. What do you think, man? Clean? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, it's locked. Alright. Let's go see uh let's go see what Brian's up to. Oh, Brian's got his little, uh, he's got his little Toyota going, man. Sorry, Dotson. Damn, did I call this a Toyota? <laughs> Good old Dotson pickup truck, man. Look at her. Oh, look at her. Man, I love these old things, man. This is the type of stuff I'm into, guys. Old cars. I can't believe I called it a Toyota, though. It's a good-looking truck. Wearing its original paint and everything, man. She looks nice. All right, let's go in here and see what they're working with. Guys, I got to show you this. How about a 1970 Charger RT? This thing is beautiful. 60 some thousand original miles on this. Tell me it is not gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Wait till you see the interior. And this is this is no BS. It's got the 440 six pack look at the old tires man these are the old what are they, they weren't radials they were bias ply i think is what they were back then bias ply tires look look at this guys tell me this is not a thing of beauty right here i would drop the hellcat in an instant for this <laughs> in an instant for this car man all day long look at how beautiful this is and it's got the wood grain dash, 150 mile an hour spinometer. And look at your shifter. It's a pistol grip shifter, guys. I know it's dark in here, but a pistol grip shifter? This car is phenomenal, man. Just, I feel blessed just to be in his presence. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you, you understand, right? Because you love it too, huh? Yes. Yeah, it's a gorgeous car, man. Absolutely beautiful. They're going to be doing everything to this one. It's getting clean, coated everywhere. And I know I feel bad that we walked right by this Mustang and didn't even notice it. But, you know, hey, beautiful Mustang. I love it, but I'm sorry. You can see these all day, every day. Seeing something like that, that's not something you see every day around here. This is a beautiful old Mustang, though. Gorgeous little car. It says 289, but who's who, who can really tell without popping the hood if it's really got a 289 or if it's the old straight six? This looks like it's probably got the 289 in it. This looks like a fairly 
straight car. I see a lot of uh, a lot of imperfections in the paint, which I'm sure they're going to be working on here. A little bit of wear on the interior, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. Beautiful dash, mainly just the seat. The dash is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Oh wow, that door closed perfectly. That was perfect. We got, looks like we've got a 392 Scat Pack Charger over here. You can see that aftermarket exhaust on it. Boy, this thing is looking right. Yeah, this is looking right. Got the big Brembo brakes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man, it's Mopar City over here, man. Lots of Mopars here. I think they got one more. You got another Mopar around here somewhere? One more, one more Mopar? Tell me it's not gorgeous, guys. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna get out of here because we got more stuff to get done. All right, we're gonna check out the interior here in just a second, but I also noticed he did me a favor and put some PPF back here uh, on this ledge where you're gonna be putting stuff in and out of your trunk where you're probably gonna sit things here and, and you might scrape it. He put some PPF on that for me too. I mean, that was nice because he didn't charge me for all of this, guys. He also, for free, put some uh, darkening film over my lights. Not to make them like, they're not super dark or anything, but just enough to really give it a, a nice, clean look. You see that? It's not that bright, popping orange anymore. I didn't even notice, but when he told me, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I see it, man. It looks good. It looks good. It looks real good. The interior, take a look. Oh, man. She's looking good. Looking real good. Uh, the interior really didn't need much of a cleaning. It was already pretty nice. He gave me some uh, quick detail stuff that comes with the... Uh, uh, I think this comes with... This is a high-gloss quick detailer. I'm going to throw that in the back. And why don't we close the door real quick and do a... Let's do a cold start, guys. Well, I think it's a cold start. I haven't started it, so for me, it's a cold start. Let's see what happens here. All right, ready? Here we go. clean guys I don't even want to touch it you know what I mean <laughs> it's that clean that I don't even want to touch the car oh I've missed you girl boy I have missed you yes I have yes I have where's those uh, air conditioned seats I can't remember right here yeah vented seats turn that on hi you want yours on yes. cool your butt there we go and where is our uh is it over here? SRT mode. I can't remember. SRT dashboard. Hell, I don't know. Okay, whatever. We're good to go, I think. I just want to make sure that I've got this thing in a... Auto is 717th Street. Okay, perfect. She is ready to go. So we're going to bounce up out of here, a full tank of gas and everything, man. God, I love this car. Let's get on the road, head back to the house. All right. Woo! Boy, I miss this car. <laughs> I have missed this car. Golly. Ugh. Oh. What Corvette, man? Oh, I didn't even tell you guys yet about the Corvette and the Jeep. Only some of you on Instagram know. Well, I'm not I'm not going to get too far into it. <laughs> but uh well, let's just let's just suffice it to say the Corvette is no more and we have a Jeep um coming from uh coming from Chrysler from the manufacturer being delivered. Had to order it because they didn't have the one that I wanted. So stay tuned. The one that we got in the driveway is a loner. 
now that we got our oxygen sensor let's get back to the house let's get this o2 sensor changed out <laughs> uh, smiles per gallon man smiles per gallon let's get this o2 sensor changed out then we can admire all of the mopars sitting in my driveway and i uh, think i think this has been an eventful day guys it's six o'clock at night i'm about ready to call it a wrap i gotta go take that truck down to weird beard but i don't think you guys need to follow me for that anyway it's going to be dark i'm not going to be able to get any real good footage out of it anyway so let's get back to the house well we made it back to the driveway guys and it's time to admire all of the mopars sitting here i don't know if you guys have noticed but i have been getting rid of everything and holding on to the mopars getting more mopars in fact let's take a look and you see what i'm talking about yeah that whole thing with the corvette man i'm sorry to all you gm lovers out there everybody loves gm i used to love gm too but when you spend sixty thousand dollars on a car and they screw you over and make you feel like you don't matter they even one time they went so far as to tell me that they believed i was using my Autel maxi sys elite to program error codes into the car's computer that didn't exist they literally said they said this is this is the people that make these gm cars and they repair the gm cars they told me they thought they accused me of programming error codes into the car to have an excuse to take it back there and i'm like okay at that point like this is done man it's done so now for better or for worse i'm done with gm done with gm i don't have any intentions of getting a c8 either gm pissed me off so gm take a look at my driveway all right mopar 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 all right this is money that could have been in gm's pocket but instead it's going into chrysler's pocket or fiat i don't care call them what you want let me tell you something this fiat right here it's a bad mamma jamma right here man this son of a gun is insane yeah <laughs> I don't care. I don't care who you are. You cannot come out and honestly say the Hellcat is a bad car. This car is freaking phenomenal. Then you got the Wrangler. Man, I can't say anything about the Wrangler. I have no idea. This car right here, we got a thousand miles on it. A thousand miles. This car right here, it's got like 150 miles on it. All right, like I said, this alone, we'll talk about this in another video. It's completely separate. But you notice the, the Corvette. The only thing I got to get rid of now is this damn Camaro and and not to worry i got plans <laughs> i got plans i think we need to replace the camaro with some i just got to manage i just got to convince jessica she needs to get rid of it all right we got the ram guys i've i've really started falling in love with dodge i i can't explain it this has never happened before but i am really really starting to love my mopar cars man i am and then last but not least we'll come over here and and give the old 59 coronet a little bit of a glance this car we got a lot going on with i'm working hard on a sponsorship opportunity uh with your mechanic i can't get into any more details other than that but i love the your mechanic service so much uh, that I reached out to him and I was like, look, man, maybe we can work something out together. I would love to get this thing running a whole lot better than it is. Unfortunately, I'm having a hard time with it, guys. And this engine, this 326, or it's actually a 325.2 that they called a 326. Getting parts for this engine, just let me just, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm having a very difficult time getting the motor running right because parts availability for this engine it's not good it's not good and if we can't get something figured out soon i'm going to pull that motor out we'll do it on video i'll pull the motor and we'll swap it out with a maybe a dual quad 318 or something like that a three we could get a 318 in here with some of today you know a, a cam and heads and everything we can get a 318 put out way more power than that anyway i hate to cut the car up though that's the thing and i wouldn't get rid of the engine i would keep the original engine and save it somewhere because it does run but i'm just saying guys i'm having so much of a hard time and the parts are so expensive when you do find them it just it's not worth it it's not financially worth it It'd make more sense just to go get a rebuilt 318 drop a 318 in it oh we're not getting out of here yet because we got to do the uh we got to do the damn oxygen sensor on this so i'm going to go ahead and shut this car off and a lot of you are probably wondering how much did it cost for the paint protective film and uh ceramic coating and everything 
uh, it's, it's, it's expensive, guys. But you have to take into consideration the amount of time it takes these guys to do all this, to lay the PPF, to uh, do the do the paint correcting on the car first. Uh, this stuff is very time consuming. It's very labor intensive. So keep that in mind when I tell you that it cost me $2,200 and change 2,200 bucks. But that's C-Quartz, man. C-Quartz Professional. We got a good thick layer of PPF over it to help protect the hood, the front clip, the back end there, that sill plate or whatever, the mirrors. Yeah, you can actually see you can see maybe the PPF cut out right there. You know, this is for all those rock chips and stuff, guys. And he also took care of that dent. He took care of the dent that was back here. And he darkened up my light. He, he took care of me, man. He took care of me. So big shout out and thank you to the Auto Spot LLC for real. Thank you, Brian. You guys got to go check him out, man. You'll see me promoting the Auto Spa here very shortly, probably in the next couple weeks or so, because they're going to start doing some professional quality videos, and I can't wait for you guys to see that i'll share the channel with you guys but before we we can worry about the auto spot llc's youtube channel we got a lot of things of our own we got to get finished we got stuff for the cornet heater hose uh upper or lower hose upper or lower hose we got belts we've got thermostat gasket thermostat we've got an oil filter stp uh, extra guard we've got stp motor oil oh there's a thermostat right there so i don't know what this was oh the thermostat came out we got a heater bypass hose this may or may not fit i don't know and i've got two more belts that are being shipped that are on the way so we got stuff to do to the coronet <laughs> get in my belly <laughs> we got stuff to do to the coronet as well well there is the old dirty bastard right here this was fun i'm not gonna bore you guys with going through and showing you the whole thing there's no way i could have filmed it anyway um <laughs> that sucker's bear to get to like it's a it's a bear um but we got her done and it is installed now unfortunately the one they sold me i went ahead and plugged in hooked everything up to find out it's the wrong oxygen sensor. So I had to take it back out. And with the tight working spaces under there, I wasn't happy. <laughs> I wasn't happy. This is gonna be the end of the video here, guys. So we're gonna fire it up. Hopefully all is good and right with the world. Turn the AC off. Well, that Kenwood though, right? Ooh, ooh, hold on. How's, damn it. Trying to get me for copyright, aren't you? There we go. Let's hope. Hope, hope, hope. No lights on the dash. Seems to be running well. Go back to the exhaust. It's not choking like it was before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's running nice. Well, I know you guys can't see anything here, but... Oh... She seems to be running good, guys. That makes me real happy. That makes me exceptionally happy after uh, everything that I just went through. This is a beautiful truck, man. So it's a beautiful truck. Oh, let's climb in it real quick. Boy, she's got good oil pressure. I gave her a full tank of gas. Turn on that air conditioner now. There we go. There we go. I'm going to take it to the car wash. I'm going to go ahead and go vacuum it out. And uh, I think we're done, boys and girls. That's a wrap. Well, it's a whole nother day. The truck has gone to weird beat. Hey, look at this. I didn't get beat in the face by this damn bush when I walked out of the door. Yeah, okay. I didn't even know the landscaper showed up today. Wow, that looks good. He did the flower beds. He got all the vines trimmed down. This right here, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I can't thank you enough. Now, before we go, I need to address the other elephant in the room, which is uh, my audio issues. And in this video, they were present yet again. And I'll be honest with you, I was totally blown away. I thought I had the audio issues resolved uh, because I switched to a whole different audio setup. The only thing in common 
was my microphone. And it's crazy because this microphone, it's number one, the mic alone is $250. And I've only had it for two months. It's reinforced with like carbon fiber or something like that. Totally insane that it would be messing up after uh, just two months of using it. So I got another mic and we're using it. And from what I could tell, the audio quality is back to being good again. Oh boy, lots of mail, great. Yeah, so hopefully uh, this outro sounds good. Hopefully we can have this audio issue put behind us. I know a lot of you have been really frustrated with it. And let me tell you something, it's not just you that's frustrated, guys. Imagine recording a ton of video only to get home and find out that your audio is totally screwed. And you can, it's not like you can re-record it, guys. You can't go back and redo something that's already done. So with that, I guess we are going to get out of here. All the cars are here. Everything is good. Man, I love that Coronet, though. I really do. I also love the, the Hellcat. I'm getting ready to go down to the tag agency because I'm going to get a license plate that I have says, you are too slow. I'm going to get that stuck on the Hellcat. So that's what I'm about to go do right now. I got to get this truck out of the grass before the city comes out and gives me a ticket for it. And uh, I guess that's a wrap. The truck's down at Weird Beard. He's going to have it up for sale. I don't know what he's putting it up for. Uh, I'm going to guess that he's probably going to put it up for around four thousand dollars i think it's worth it guys i drove that thing 109 miles and it was great great truck man those tires look so damn aggressive i like it. i'm starting to like the lineup up here guys i've got a, a few things on standby for the new jeep we are going to talk about the jeep and the corvette in another video. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna get out of here. Wanna give a big shout out and thank you again to all of you for watching. Number one, my fans, every single one of you, thank you so much for allowing me to do what I do. Next, to Weird Beard, man, Mike. Weird Beard Auto Sales, thank you, man. You guys need to go subscribe to him on YouTube if you haven't already. And then, Brian from the Auto Spot LLC. Links in the description, guys, please. Links to all of them in the description. Brian for the Auto Spot LLC, he's got some great videos already, and he has just hired like a full time camera person, editor, everything. He's, <laughs> I wish I could do that. In fact, I'm thinking maybe I need to get to trying to do something like that. That would be awesome. So I think he's going to have some amazing content, more amazing content coming to his channel. He does such a great job, man. Go subscribe to him as well. And with that, I am going to get out of here, guys. Until next time, stay safe out there. Hey, 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 wait a minute. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Auto Auction Rebuilds if you want to. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you could click that subscribe button if you want to. I'd appreciate it. Now we're out here. I'll catch you all very soon in the next one. But wait, there's more. For those of you that were cool enough to stick around to the very end of the video, let's do a cold start on the old Coronet. Pump the gas a couple times. Let the fuel pump prime up. Oh yeah. Any smoke? Nope. No smoke. I could listen to that all day, guys. Music to my ears.